Hey everybody and welcome to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'm Zelda Master and just yesterday a free update for this game came out. Now you may be wondering what got me excited for an update when I barely play this game and that is because the update is to Link and his attire. Yes, Link now represents the Breath of the Wild look in his champion's tunic. A free update that they added to the game that changes Link's attire and his vehicles which we're gonna go ahead and check out right now. But overall, this is such a cool addition. They did this to Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition for the Switch and they're doing it for Super Smash Bros coming out for the Switch. Overall updating Link's appearance to fit the latest Zelda game Breath of the Wild. So it's really cool that we got it for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as well. Now don't worry you can easily swap Link back to his green hood if you're a fan of the old school Link. Obviously, I like Link's new appearance. I think it's way more badass. And if Nintendo is trying to overall rebrand Link as the hero in blue instead of the hero in green, I wouldn't be too sad. I'd be happy for the change. But as you can see, if you do choose Link in blue, he will represent the Sheikah instead of the Triforce it being Hyrule, which makes a lot of sense because in Breath of the Wild you used Sheikah technology, including a vehicle by the Sheikah which we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at so let's go ahead and select link and as you saw let me go ahead and play that again link uses a guardian sword so he's representing the Sheikah even more really really awesome but along with that now the master cycle was originally made in this game way back on the Wii U when Mario Kart 8 came out and then eventually they redesigned it and added zero at the end of the title to make the master cycle zero for Breath of the Wild. Such a cool addition to the game that was an awesome way to end off the DLC altogether. But it's so crazy to think that the origin of this was for Mario Kart 8 and later put into a Zelda game and now put back into Mario Kart with its redesign. So yes, this is I guess you could say the prototype of the master cycle and then the Sheikah get involved and they make something so much more badass from a horse looking you know motorbike to a unicorn looking motorbike just because of the horn it reminds me of a unicorn i'm assuming they did that in breath of the wild so you can attack enemies while driving very fast through the uh world and stuff which yeah is overall just such a cool addition i'm really excited to use it in mario kart 8 i actually wondered why this wasn't added when i first saw the dlc in breath of the wild but Alongside the Master Cycle Zero, we also get ancient tires to kind of complete the look. And well, this wouldn't be Breath of the Wild Link without his famous paraglider that he got from the King of Hyrule, as that has also been added to the game. So there we go. We are fully equipped with Breath of the Wild set. Let's go ahead and jump into the Triforce Cup as it only makes sense to play through and just kind of test this out because... Yeah, such a cool addition to the game. Like I said, they've been doing this with their other games that are coming out on the Switch that has Link in it. So I feel like Nintendo will always showcase Link in blue moving forward as this is the Link we now know him. Hopefully the upcoming Zelda game does the same thing and overall Link's redesign is this. Now, a lot of people may just be nostalgic and prefer Lincoln Green to look somewhat like Peter Pan and whatnot, but I really like the direction Nintendo went for this, and I'm just overall excited to see the future of this game, but, um, or of Link in general, like Link in uh, upcoming games. So hopefully we get like, whoa, okay, a Nintendo, you know, party or something crazy like that, that, um, okay, I haven't played this game in a while, so I have no idea how to, to drift that well anymore but um yeah i would love to see link zelda all of these characters in more games than smash and mario kart i would love to see zelda in mario kart even just overall it'd be cool to see link get some love like mario has always gotten you know mario has so many spin-off games and just games to play Zelda is kind of the complete opposite when it comes to that. They have very few games, but I feel like it's like Nintendo's second biggest franchise. So it would just be really cool to get more of The Legend of Zelda in spin-off titles. You know, Triforce Heroes was fun. Hyrule Warriors was a cool idea of a spin-off, but I'd like something a little less serious, I guess you could say. And no, no, okay. So yeah, the Master Cycle Zero or any bike on 200cc is absolute trash. The drifting is just... Bizarre. The ha you can't handle it at all. As you can see, I have to literally break, turn, do some crazy things like this so I can not completely fall off the track. Uh, and I I'm going to attempt to do well, but you know, if I don't, I don't I actually don't care. Um, I just want to test out this bike and all together just see if, uh, you know, it feels cool to play as 
Link in this attire. I mean, like I said, this game is very simple and you know, I don't really play too much. Whoa, I didn't want that drift. Holy crap. Okay. Ah, no. Okay. Maybe I can come back because of that lightning. That lightning slowed everybody down. This is my chance. Okay, let's go ahead and press B. When we turn, I feel like that will help out a lot. I need to get used to that as well. So it is nice though not to be first place because you guys may know if you play this game a lot that the NPCs are so annoying with items that... No! Are you kidding me? I went too fast. Um, yeah, that anything can happen, but... Oh well. Let's see if we can somehow catch up. Come on, we could do this. Link, you got this. Fourth place. No, let's make it third. You know what? We're gonna make this. No! Oh well. Maybe not even fifth. Or, okay, we made it fifth. Not bad. I'm gonna take it. I like how Link's uh, icon has changed as well. You can see his hair is a bit darker. He has the longer sideburns. Um, he even has like a ponytail. I guess that is the whole difference, really. I, I mean, the main thing would be like him removing the green hat, right, in the icon. But you can also tell that his hair color is just altogether like a lot darker. Because he normally had like really blonde hair in this game. And now he has like a dirty blonde look going on and okay this is like the scariest level to take on in 200 cc because it is absolutely ridiculous what a well it is ah beautiful completely beautiful and, and awesome and i love this redesign of an nes stage they did such a good job reimagining this area um it is just so terrifying to drive on so i'm gonna go ahead and just throw this Hopefully I don't get squat. Okay. Heck yeah. Slow down. All right. I think I'm getting the hang of this, actually. Wait a second. I think I know how to drift again on a bike. Yeah, I think all you need to do is just press B. Uh, and you'll be... No, wait. Ah! Okay, never mind. I got a little boost from the, um, the ground shaking thanks to that thwomp. And that actually messed me up big time. So, oh well. Okay, let's go. But, I mean, isn't 200 can CC considered hard mode in this game? Or am I just saying that to feel good about myself playing that? Probably that's the reason. But hey guys, we're just here to showcase the skin, this new outfit. Not really to play too well. <laughs> that's going to be my excuse here. But yeah, this game is just so freaking beautiful. I actually love the way this level looks. No, no, don't hit me. Ah! You cannot use a mushroom. <laughs> what was that? It was ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna redeem myself here. We're not, we're not losing. I got a mushroom again. I'm gonna use it when it's needed. Probably here. Oh wait, I got an idea. Okay, mushroom up. Oh, that was amazing actually. Cause now I can catch up to everybody. No, okay, maybe not everybody, but I, I think Larry or whoever that Koopaling is was the only one. Yep, it was Larry. Screw you, Larry. <laughs> I was so close to make it, but oh well. All right, let's move on, guys. At least we kind of redeemed ourselves that time, and I was actually really terrified of that chorus. But yeah, this game is really fun to play. I wouldn't say so much against the computers, but online was really cool. It's just, in my opinion, I feel like what ruined this game was the excessive items. It's a bit too frantic, and I know there's a mode called frantic mode, which is even more ridiculous, but... When you play casually online, it just feels like items are too cheap. You know, I'm one who would rather have just a skill-based game. It'd be really cool if um, this game was a little bit more like F-Zero in the sense that you don't want to hit walls a lot, you don't want to crash, you want to kind of maintain your vehicle and worry about just going at mock speed. Um, that, I think that's why I loved F-Zero so much, and this game reminds me so much of F-Zero with the anti-gravity sections, like, think about it, this, those are straight up ripped out of F-Zero, there's literally, uh, Big Blue is in this game, and it feels just like F-Zero when you're going down and up and all around, it is so amazing, um, and it's so weird how Nintendo just kind of forgot about that franchise, Nintendo's so weird when it comes to the, to very few franchises that have such a strong fan base, but for some reason they just don't get acknowledged, these games. Like when it, I mean, at least Metroid is now. We got Metroid, uh, what, Metroid Prime 4 finally in development, which is super exciting, but we also ended up getting Metroid uh, 2, 
the Samus Return. What, what was it? I already forgot. Uh, but like the remake that came out on the 3DS, which was super cool, super fun, and very entertaining. Now Larry is actually beast moding it, which I'm kind of surprised that Larry is gonna get so good. No! Of course a blue shell would happen when I'm in first. Screw you, Larry! Okay, never mind. It's Inkling Girl. Okay, now it was Larry. Larry, do not do this to me. Ah, okay, wow. Uh, this is this is what I meant by Mario Kart 8, everybody. I was doing so fine. Just a stinking no. To okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I was so far behind, but luckily I was able to make a comeback at the very end with a nice sharp turn. But okay. So we're about one level away from the true attraction of this all. You know, I want to play the Master Cycle Zero in... Oh, wait, we're already here. Never mind. Really? Have we already went through three levels? There's no way. I guess we have. Okay, these are a lot shorter than I remember. But, yes, the Legend of Zelda. I like how it just shows you the logo there. It makes no sense why they would have that logo there. But, hey, if you don't know what Sages is based off of, well, now you know. It's the Zelda. It, all the... Because all the Triforces and Hyrule Castle and music wasn't obvious enough. <laughs> but, yeah. Really cool stage. I love this stage because I love the field leading to Hyrule Castle. Um, man, I just really hope that this next Zelda game doesn't have, obviously, the post-apocalyptic setting. I would love to see, you know, a next-gen version of Hyrule. Hyrule Field, the castle, the beautiful things. Yes! We got two... Uh, clashing to the Master Sword. You know what? I gotta play this right because this is Link stage. Link knows this place from the inside out. I cannot do Hyrule like this. Gotta play. Well. Okay, I'm taking this too seriously. But yeah, I just really love the way the stage looks. I love the entering Hyrule Castle, all of that, and it just makes me wish we had uh, a present Hyrule Castle that you know had guards and and all of that. The life in the castle. For Breath of the Wild, but obviously if you play Breath of the Wild, you, you know that wasn't the case. The game is set in a very dark time, but, uh, no! Um, hopefully, yeah, the mission upcoming Zelda game makes up for it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just use this, throw my bomb back, no, okay! Phew! That, uh, Deku Baba didn't bite me, luckily. We can keep going. Hey, look, it's the whole squad. Why is everybody just... Beasting up and is Peach on a freaking bike? Whoa! She was like zooming across for a second. Okay, pick these fireballs, dudes. I got, I gotta go. Zelda calls, man. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Let's do this. Boom. Never mind, I can't. Ah! Okay, throw this. Uh, fix. I just gotta fix my. No. You. I'm not letting you, Peach. No. <laughs> Crap. This is horrible. Why do they keep doing this at the very end? They're able to catch up so hard. Larry, you freaking suck. Like, Larry, like, glued onto me like a magnet. We were both neck and neck. I mean, I think even if he did get second place, he was going to get more points still. Right? I would have gotten 10. No, maybe would have gotten even, I think. Oh, well. Oh, well. We, uh, we did what we can. Larry destroyed us, though. I'm one day going to come back and, and take his spot, but I, <laughs> I did what I could. Now, one thing I wish they added in the deluxe version, which is really lame, is this. Like, what is this? This is the result screen. Some hi okay, no, no, no. Mario Kart TV is cool. The fact that you can upload straight to YouTube, even though Nintendo claims that immediately if you use Mario Kart TV, that's like their way of making money off of your highlights, which, which I think is kind of lame how that is a thing. It makes me not want to use Mario Kart TV, but as you can see, we managed to get second place in every stage but Wario's gold mine, so we started off a little rusty. Oh, well. Um, yeah, that wasn't bad. Okay, I'm just going to skip this, but yeah, it, it would have been cool to see like the uh, first, second, and third place get rewarded with the crown, you know, the, the cup trophy like all the other Mario Kart games. I don't know why this one's very simplified and just kind of has like a very basic result screen. But all right, I'll take the second place. That about does that. Uh, I, I would like to just kind of take a look at um, 
link really quickly though so we're gonna go ahead and jump into single player once again you know we, we tested out the wheels we did all of that but now what I want to do is I want to just literally jump straight in um I rule circuit right here and just kind of stare at the vehicle that's all I want to do actually just to kind of showcase it for those who don't own this version because I'm pretty sure this game uh, the deluxe version is the only one that's getting this Breath of the Wild update. I may be wrong, maybe they did it on the original Wii U version, but I doubt it. I feel like this is only for this version, which is really lame. But, okay, so, yeah, sadly there is... I can't tell, actually, if, if the sound effects are the same. I mean, it's literally just a motorbike. <laughs> but, um, I can't move the camera around. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay. So there is no headlight? Or maybe I have to go inside or in a dark place. Let's go in the shadow and see if the headlight just turns on. No, okay. Let's try a tunnel and see if the headlight turns on. Because as we know, the headlight turns on uh, at night in Breath of the Wild, uh, which is really cool. I just want to see if that has it. Now, I don't know if this is considered a tunnel, but I feel like the game would automate your bike to light up when you get into dark areas, right? No. I don't know if this is considered dark, though. This is inside a castle. Maybe I'm thinking too deep into this. I doubt the vehicles switch. Do they? Let me know if they do. If, like, there are headlights to cars and they turn on in the dark. But as you can see, nothing is currently on. Uh, obviously, the, the shading is just very minimal. Everything about this is very minimal. Uh, even the... Yeah, just everything it, it looks good the lights are on actually wait a second so i see lights on right now from the back and oh they changed the orange why they do that let me go back in the dark maybe they change the orange when you're in the dark yeah they do Ooh. oh no they change okay got it so they have the blue light when you're on anti-gravity and that's why the wheels like this i totally didn't notice that and then it goes to orange when you're on normal uh what's it called land which is weird how this is considered anti-gravity as it's literally the same thing but yeah uh and also i guess that's that's pretty much it so you get the sheikah look and then you get the dark look as it would look uh if it was taken over just you normally driving or something and obviously we have the sword that comes out every time link does a cool uh you know taunt let me actually do it one more time so i can take a look at it closely so we're gonna go ahead and do it right here and oh yeah that was really sick seeing the guardian sword out but all right i guess that does it for this uh i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of end off the um the video here because there's really nothing more to check out i just want to show this off showcase it if you don't know that this update came out make sure to download it it's literally free just download it on your switch play it enjoy Breath of the Wild Link in Mario Kart 8. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know what you guys think of Link's redesign and which you prefer, Blue Link or Green Link. Personally, like I said before, I prefer the blue redesign. But let me know yours in the comments below. Anyways, that does it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!